And hey, there are new reports saying that Ray Rice told NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell back in June that he punched his then fiance in a casino elevator. So let's get the big picture here. The NFL is having an image problem. We know that. Joining us right now, we're joined by former wrestler turned amazing businessman, Diamond Dallas Page. Diamond, you, you wrestled. Uh, wrestling had its image problem for a, a long time as well. Yeah, we went through, you know, the, the ups and downs. Like, rest school's cyclical, cyclical all the time. And, you know, I've been, uh, been really lucky in the last couple of years to really turn around, especially putting a really great story out there about DDP yoga and the lives I'm changing, like that article that just came out in the New York Times. Yeah, I want to talk about that because that was a six-page article, but only because, you know, this is the biggest news event of the week, you know, uh, uh, outside of your phenomenal growth. And from someone who was, a, who, who, who was an athlete, professional athlete, right. and someone who was with an organization and saw it turn around. You know, also, I talked in our morning meeting this week. Yesterday, Lululemon came out with their earnings, and the stock was up big. We know that yoga is huge, but this is a company that also offended a lot of women, and somehow they're turning it around. What is the NFL, in your mind, from someone who's involved in sports and athletics and now a businessman, have to do? You know, I think you got to walk the talk, you know, as a as a superhero to kids, you know, growing up, you know, and being wrestling was with the guys I looked up to, but also NFL players, too. I want them, the guy who walks the talk. You just can't be a celebrity to me and not be, you know, a good example to the kids growing up. And and I know, you know, Ray's done a lot of really good things and. You know what he's he's getting hit on now. You know it's it's big and they, it is big. It you know is it's big. big. And NFL's, he went to the NFL from what I understood and told him the whole situation. Not to make, that doesn't make it right, but you know it's, yeah. uh, it's the big. NFL itself now is, is probably going, has a serious image problem. Let's talk about you because your life story has been absolutely remarkable. You leave the wrestling ring, you and you get involved in yoga. And wait, now wait, you, wait, 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 what would you call? It? <laughs> DDP yoga. Okay, you don't call my mom. It ain't your mom. It ain't your mama's yoga. It ain't your mama's yoga. And, and, and that, is that why the New York Times wrote a six-page spread on you because you're not everyone's old-fashioned yoga? No, I'm not. They did more of a Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, one of the all-time greats, the uh, Scott Hall. Two of my buddies had fallen on hard times, and you know. I reached out to help them because they had helped me and they were good friends of mine and they both had addiction problems and they were they were never going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. They, they'd seen their time, but we turned it around and it wasn't because I did DDP yoga with them. It was more teaching them the lifestyle because it's it's not just the workout or how to eat well. It's, it's how you treat your body, how you treat yourself. and. Both of those guys on April 5th, which was my 58th birthday, both of those guys got inducted into the whole thing, and I actually inducted Jake Roberts. So it was an amazing story that came on the heels of the disabled veteran. Right. You saw the disabled veteran. I helped. We've got a few. We've got less than a minute to go. Um, this lifestyle, uh, you know, because, you know, we think of yoga, recreational, maybe right. lose a few pounds, but you're saying it's sort of a lifestyle trend. And you're, and, and you're trying to get everybody involved in it. Well, you know, it's, I've got from kids to 80-year-old men to ex-athletes. Mark Sclarett, you know, played for the uh, NFL. He's on uh, yeah, ESPN. Yeah, good-looking dude. Yeah, he just started doing my stuff after three. Those guys had 17 knee operations, 27 operations overall. He said on the third day, he called me up. He goes, D, I, I know it's only been three days, but I'm already feeling my body open up. This is a great quote on Twitter, though. He put on Twitter today for the first time in years, I was able to put my pants on without leaning on the wall or sitting <laughs> right. on the bed. DDP <laughs> Yoga. Progress. Diamond Dallas. Diamond <laughs> Dallas Page. DD, right. DDP Yoga. Thanks a lot. Hey, yoga. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. You really are an inspirational story. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Charles.